Eight people were hurt too critically when a gunman opened fire at a splash pad in a Detroit suburb last night. An eight-year-old boy was shot in the head and is one of those in critical condition. Wendy Gillette reports. There was panic and terror in Rochester Hills, Michigan, just after 5 p.m. Saturday, when a man fired as many as 28 times at a splash pad where families were trying to keep cool. There were multiple victims uh, wounded on scene. Our deputies began providing emergency first aid, including a tourniquet. Sheriff Michael uh, Bouchard said three of the victims were from the same family, two of them children. He says the shooting appears to be random. Sheriff's deputies descended on a nearby neighborhood after getting a description of a vehicle and tracing it to an address. They say they found the suspect dead inside the house of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot. The reason that quick containment uh, is critically important, in my opinion, and why potentially more lives were saved is we don't know what the next chapter was going to be. The suspect was described as a 42-year-old man with mental health challenges. His motive is unclear. At the news conference, the sheriff showed an image of a semi-automatic weapon found on the suspect's kitchen table. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. Neighbor Jared Schmidt went to the splash pad to help the victims. I know these people. This is my neighborhood. These are friends. These are family members. This is not... This is horrible. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office has responded to other mass shooting incidents in recent years, including in Oxford, Michigan, when a 15-year-old shot and killed four high school students in 2021. Sheriff Bouchard called this incident a gut punch to the community. Wendy Gillette, CBS News.